Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so for this video, I want to show you guys a um a design model of a logo that has uh, basically it's a 3D logo with animation. Um, and I learned how to make this again through 3ds Max how tos on YouTube. So this video was published by them on July 6th of 2012 and they're running 3DS Max version 2012 64-bit. Uh, the video for them is titled Designing a Company Logo Autodesk. So <clears throat> so here's kind of my version of what they made um, unlike the tank video if you've seen the tank video I posted uh, this one was pretty much built from scratch and you can take a look at it um, you can see that um, it's kinda hard to see really but if you well, I don't know if you can really see it, but here. Basically, this is how the video goes. If I just scroll along this, uh, if you look at the frames, uh, the animation, it kind of goes from the inside of the cube of the logo, uh, from the E to the G, and then you, or maybe that's an, another E. There's a C on the side, and you see how it kind of zooms out, and so, um. In this tutorial that I followed from YouTube, uh, they pretty much had us using, um, well, pretty much they didn't really provide us with a whole lot, really. Like, they provided us with their version of the video uh, animation um, of this ECG logo. And then they also provided us with the brass metal, um, pretty much the mapping for brass metal and also for tin foil. Those are pretty much to be put onto the images just for textures. And then, the, yeah, they had this video down here that they exported, the MP4 video. And so you can see here that pretty much like I had to create this from scratch which wasn't really too hard this one was like a nine minute video or something it was one video yeah about nine minutes thirty seconds it took me quite a while to do it because I tend to do these things really late at night um so I was tired but anyways um pretty much you see here that there's a there's a letter E there's a letter G and you see the letter C you can't really see it it's on that back base um and yeah so that's that's pretty much what was created first we pretty much created the the letters um one was created on a five by five grid here you see this red that's the e i think and then here you see this red that's the c and this is the g it's kind of hard to see everything because it's it's kind of hard to see everything because it's really small, but you can see it here. And they were all created on 5x5 five five grids, and you notice that they're all created in generally the same region, just on a different, um, like this one's front facing, this one's top, and then this one here is the left, the G is on the left. And so um, pretty much I created them attached to each other at this main corner here. And at that main bottom corner, and then um, pretty much uh, the sides were extruded for all of them, so it kind of gave it like that 3D effect. So that instead of the letters being flat, they're now like box letters, like truly like box letters, like uh, 3D. And then uh, also this background, you can see this background box here. Uh, it was just it's just uh, three three planes really. So, well, actually, I created it with a box. Uh, we used the box tool and just took out um, uh, 
two of the sides and, and the top. So pretty much I took out two of the sides and the top. Uh, the same thing could have been done by just using three planes, uh, but we used the box here and uh, we gave the box just a little bit of thickness. And also we added some lights, which you can't really see too well. I think they're like around here. Uh, this is box. This is, yeah, a direct light here. You have another direct light. So there are three direct lights. Uh, one direct light is facing directly at this, uh, this G. One direct light is facing from the top, I believe, directly on the E. Another direct light is facing, um, somewhere else. I think at the C or from the inside or something. I think there's a light in here. I can't really tell. But, um, then there's a shadow. You can see the shadows on the outside walls. You have to select to get the shadows on the walls. Uh, so you have the C that's coming from this light. Uh, that's the shadow. Then you have the G that's coming from this. And then there's a, there's a light on the top, I think, that's projecting this E shadow on the floor. Um, uh, something is weird with my E. It's missing the top left corner on the E for some reason or another. I'm not sure if I deleted that or maybe it's just the way the lighting is. Maybe something's blocking it. I'm not too sure. But anyways, it's just kind of weird. Um, I'm not sure about what happened with that. And also, uh, for my box, for the outer walls, you can kind of see here that they're kind of, um, you can kind of see like halfway up, they're kind of a little messy. I kind of messed that up a little bit and I kind of extruded the walls like upward uh, so they would be taller because they really were cutting just like right about here but then I think I accidentally um, shifted them in kind of uh, like forward or backward so now it has like a shadow I think it's more than one flat plane here I think it's kind of like dented in here and this one's like tilted back like slightly I'm not too sure but that's what is probably causing that issue and uh, you can see how the spotlights are kind of um, and we also added this uh, uh, we pretty much created the bitmap using using the tin foil and the brass metal so the brass metal was used for the walls and then the tin foil was used for uh, the letters for the logo and um Pretty much, we just traced those onto here. Pretty much, like that—that that was all we really did, and then animated the camera. So you can't really see the effect too good here. Like it, you can see it, but it's kind of hard to capture the effect of uh, of the tin foil on here. It just looks like a white block, kind of. But uh, you can check out the video. The rendered video looks a lot nicer. You can watch it. So here it is playing. It's just a few seconds. So you can see it kind of zooms out from the inside of the logo and then it just kind of zooms all the way out and you can see the corners of the box. Um, and you can see all the letters. So we'll watch it one more time. It doesn't look perfect but you know it's better than nothing, really. I kind of like it. I kind I kind of like how the tin foil looks. How it's kind of glossy. There's no sound. Um, I didn't make any sound or music to put in the background of this video, but I like it. And you know, again, this they were saying in the video that this can be made with any letters. Like to me, C E G or E C G or whatever this is. You know, that doesn't really mean anything to me. I don't really, those aren't my initials. It's not really meaningful for me, but, um, yeah, it, it's kind of cool looking. It's kind of nice. I think I'll try this again with, with letters, like, that I might actually use for something, like my initials or G-A-N or something like that. Um, and you can also tell the shadows, uh, they have a bit of a blur to them. Which is, you know, like you can make a crisp shadow if you want, but I kind of like them to look that way. Um, and I think this uh, rendered output was not 1080p. I think it was like 720, 
So, I mean, it looks okay, but theirs looked a lot clearer. Their quality was a lot better. So I might actually uh, render this again in 1080p, just because 1080 looks a lot nicer. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, as I said, they provided it a lot, and this one was made from scratch. Uh, I guess one problem I had was trying to make the tinfoil look a little bit shinier, um, and a little bit uh, darker of a color, like darker gray, but I don't mind it looking kind of really bright. It's not too bad. Um, so yeah, with that, thanks for watching, and uh... I hope you enjoyed seeing seeing this little animation that was made from scratch based on the 3DS Max How To's uh, YouTube channel tutorial that was called Designing a Company Logo. Check it out. It's pretty good. It's a good channel. You can learn a lot. Thanks for watching.